Bill, it had been Trump outraising Biden when Biden was still the candidate. Now you have Harris bringing in what they say is grassroots money. What edge does that give Harris after the Democrats had been falling behind Trump? Well, like you said, $310 million is just a massive haul in July. It's a record for this point in the campaign. And remember, Kamala Harris was not the de facto candidate for the Democrats until the third week of July. It was basically around July 21st that, uh, that President Biden said he was stepping out of the race and handing it over uh, or endorsing Kamala Harris as his successor. So uh, $200 million of that was in one week. Uh, it's hard to believe believe that that kind of a pace can be sustained, but it has uh, eliminated the gap that the Democrats and the Biden campaign at the start of July had with the Trump campaign. At this point, uh, Kamala Harris and her campaign have uh, about $50 million, uh, $50 million more cash on hand, $377 million for them versus about $327 million for former President Trump. So it is, uh, if you needed any more evidence that it is a changed race, uh, that kind of does it. Now we need to see what happens. There's still 95 plus days to the election, but it's uh, obviously a, a, an exciting start, I think, for Harris and her supporters.